Hello friends, welcome to Susan and John MathTube. This is multiple intervals 5 and again uh, we continue with problems in multiple integrals. So you can write the next question. Evaluate the integral integral 1 to log 8 to the base e that is ln 8 and the second one 0 to log y to the base e e to the power x plus y dx dy okay um, in multiple integrals 3 we saw such integrals the limits will be given but the limits will not be specified anyway it's easy to find uh, if you first search the inner limit you can see that the inner limit is made up of y and that clearly tells me the inner limit belongs to x and there are only two variables x and y that means the outer limit belongs to y once more i'll tell you uh, from like what you call multiple intervals 1 2 3 4 you can understand that whenever we use a vertical strip y will have variable limits and whenever we use horizontal strip x will have variable limit and if the limits of y are given then it will be given in terms of x and if the limits of x are given it will be given in terms of y and all you have to do is in a double integral you search the inner integral so what we do is we are going to integrate with respect to x and one more very important thing the inverse of logarithmic function that is you should be expecting something like log inverse is nothing but e to the power no one writes like log inverse but it is e to the power so remember if you have a function and its inverse in a composite form that is e to the power ln x will be x okay now let's start so i'm going to write the integral as y equal to 1 to log 8 to the base c remember log 8 to the base c can be written as ln 8 and x equal to 0 to log y to the base e and we can split this using loss of indices anyway i am going to integrate with respect to x so e power y will be a constant for the time being and integrate e power x e power x integral is e power x we plug in upper limit and lower limit i'll circle that for you so we get y is equal to 1 to log 8 e power y e power ln y minus e power 0 dy that will be integral y equal to 1 to log 8 to the base c e power y now look at this e and ln whenever they come together uh, they create the identity function that is if a function and the inverse function comes as a composite function you will end up with this and e power 0 is 1 dy okay now I can see a product and I am sure that you might have learned product rule or integration by parts and you might have heard something called I L A T E okay so our exponential function and our algebraic function so the order is wrong because algebraic function should be kept first and then exponential function so that's what we are going to do now but a better plan will be to integrate this first and then put the limits 
So I'm going to write y minus 1 into e power y. For those who do not know integration by parts, I'll give a small example. Suppose you have integral u into v and let's say both are functions of x, so dx. The normal integration by parts rule tells you u integral v means minus integral derivative of u integral v. But there is a very powerful rule which can be used for uh, algebraic functions, especially polynomials and sine, polynomials and cos, polynomials and exponential. Right now we have right now we have polynomial and exponential, so the rule can be used. The rule goes like this: suppose you have u into v. You start with u and integrate v minus differentiate u again integrate v plus again differentiate u again integrate v minus dot 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 okay and that will be very easy to apply so look at this we get first function integral of e power y is e power y minus what is the derivative of the first function? 1. What is the integral of the second function? e power y. Now, plus the derivative of the first function. Look, the first function co derivative will become 0. Now, it will keep on becoming 0. That is it. So, the answer is, now what we do is we will plug in this integral value e power y into y minus 2 within the limits y equal to 1 to log 8 and that gives us e to the power I will do one thing I will circle the domain variable so you can plug in ln 8 here and ln 8 minus 2 you can circle 1 and remember e to the power ln 8 will give you 8 now you open the bracket okay now let's go for another question now this question is very very important uh, evaluate double integral over r root under x y minus y square dx dy where r is the triangle with vertices 0 0 10 comma 1 1 comma 1 Okay, so let's go for the picture. We have the origin here. So let's call it O. And the next vertex A, 10 comma 1. Let's see, this is 10 and this is 1. And 1 comma 1. So we have a triangle and let's call it O. Okay, I'll call this as A and this as B. I guess you remember uh, the equation of line passing through a point and having slope m. So if you look at OA, it passes through 0, 0 and 1, 1. That means slope is y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 that is 1. So, equation to OA is y minus 0 is equal to slope into x minus 0 that is OA has equation y is equal to x. Now comes the next line AB. AB can you see AB is parallel to the x axis and it is at a height 1. So, AB has equation y equal to 1. Any line parallel to the x axis will have equation y is equal to constant and that constant will be the height of the line from the x axis. Okay, now the third quantity we are looking for is OB. Okay, so you can see that O is 0, 0, B is 10, 1. So, the slope is 1 by 10. So, the equation will be 
y minus 0 is equal to 1 by 10 into x minus 0. So, here we go OB, y is equal to 1 by 10 into x. Okay. Now, there is a big problem. Suppose, suppose I use my favorite strip. My favorite strip is a vertical strip, the strip parallel to the y axis. I can see one big problem here. Look at this, the y values are from OB, I think you can see OB, I will scroll little bit down for you. So, my strip is varying from OB to OA, OB to OA, OB to OA, OB to OA. But after this point, the story is different. It is from green to red green to red green to red anyway no need to worry it actually means that our double integral will split or our double integral uh, becomes the sum of two double integrals so in case i take the vertical strip what happens is the required integral will become double integral plus double integral and the first one you can see that everything changes after oa and the coordinate of a is 1 comma 1 so the value of x will be from 0 to 1 and 1 to 10 because the last point is 10 comma 1 so this will be 10 and here you can see that uh, y varies from green line green line green line means which is green line green line is ob so i'll put green color here uh, and blue blue line means i'll put blue color here and red means i'll put red color here okay so you can see that y varies from green line that is 1 by 10 into x to blue line that is y equal to x and after 1 after 1 this is the story from 0 to 1 and after 1 uh, y varies from green line to y equal to 1 so we get x y minus y square dy dx root under x y minus y square dy dx and I don't like this because integration will be really hard. We may have to use beta gamma or something etc etc. But it will be really hard. So I prefer to cancel this method. Now look at this. Let's go for another method that is I am planning to take my not so favorite strip that is a strip parallel to the x axis but in this problem i am going to allow it because i can see that there is uniform movement look at this blue to green blue to green blue to green everywhere you take it anywhere it will be from blue to green everywhere it is from blue to green that part is comforting so look at this x varies from blue line to green line and y varies from, you can see that <clears throat> y is varying from, if you look at um, what you call the starting point of the strip, it is from 0 to 1. The y values are all, are trapped between 0 and 1, you can see that. So, y varies from 0 to 1. So, I think this will be better. Anyway, with this information, I am going to write the limit. So, the required integral will be double integral, one quantity I understood, y varies from 0 to 1 because the height is only this much and x varies from, I already wrote blue to green. So, what is the x value from blue, what is the x value from blue, 
blue means OA, X value is Y. And what is the X value from green? Green means this one, 10Y, root under XY minus Y square, DX, DY, because I now I have to integrate with respect to X first. Now, before we start, now before we start, I will put it like this. Integral AX plus B, the whole power N, this will be AX plus B, the whole power N plus 1 by N plus 1 times 1 by A. This is very, very important. Now, look at this integral here. First of all, I will explain, about, explain something about that integral. This is in the form XY minus Y square. Um, what do you call dx that means x is the only variable y is a constant and the whole power 1 by 2 is there. So, if I integrate I am going to get 1 by 2 plus 1 by 1 by 2 plus 1 into 1 by y. I hope you understood y because when we integrate with respect to x y will be a constant. So, with this knowledge I am going to integrate. So, this will be integral y equal to 0 to 1. Once more I will tell you x is the variable y is a constant. So, I am going to get x y minus y square the whole power 1 by 2 plus 1 by 1 by 2 plus 1 into 1 by y within the limits x is equal to y to x is equal to 10 y dy. Now, for your advantage, I will circle the plug-in variable. We just integrated with respect to x. So, this is the plug-in variable. Okay, so, we are going to plug in the upper limit. And I am going to send this outside. So, 2 by 3 goes outside. Okay, when you plug in 10y, we get 10y into y minus, when we plug in the lower limit, we get y into y. So, the second part will become 0. So, we get 2 by 3 integral y equal to 0 to 1, 10 minus 1 that will be 9, 9 y square the whole power 3 by 2 into 1 by y dy. And now, look at this. This will be something to the power 3 by 2 means the power 1 by 2 the whole cube. That means, you have to take square root and cube. So, we get 2 by 3, 0 to 1. So, what should we do? We have to take square root. Square root will be 3y and then you have to cube it. So, 27y cube into 1 by y and that will be 2 by 3 integral y equal to 0 to 1, 27y square dy. So, this and this will get cancelled, 9, 18 and the final answer is, so that is it, it is a small video. So, till then, bye.